Hello, welcome to Manitowoc Ice. Today we're going to be looking at installing the automatic cleaning system on our ice machine, the iAUX. Now this video is for authorized installers, so if you need an authorized installer, you can check out our website and look for the FAS service locator on our Manitowoc Ice website. You should see the number right up on the bottom here. So these are the parts that come in the kit for installing it. Uh, the only real tool you'll need to install it is a Phillips screwdriver for this installation and everything else is included in the kit that you should need. So the aux can be mounted in two positions. We can mount it on a wall behind the machine or we can hang it off the side of the bin as well. Either are acceptable uh, on this installation. There are limitations. We cannot go too low or too high with this aux unit and we can't go too far away from it. So you want to check your instructions that come with the aux system to check the specifications for that. So the next thing we're going to do is mount the bracket to the bin. So I've taken off this strip of insulation tape on one side of the bin where I want the bracket to be mounted. And then I'm going to take the bracket and I'm going to push it down into the place I want it mounted to. Once it's nice and secure, I'm going to take the insulation tape that comes with the kit and I'm going to place it across the entire length of the side of the bin. And then I'm going to trim off the excess that is sticking out the edge of the bin. And I'm just going to push it down so it mounts securely. And then I'm ready to put my ice machine on top of the bin. So now that we've mounted the ice machine on top of the bin and the bracket that's already on the bin, we're going to mount the AUX cleaning system onto the bracket. Now you can see there's two key slots on the back of this AUX box that have to go onto the two little tags on the bracket. So we're just going to turn it around and simply place it on those two slots. And then we'll be able to run the wires and the chemical cleaning tube into the machine next. We always make sure that we disconnect the power from the ice machine before we start any of these installation steps. So the next step we're going to take is to install the power supply to this oil cleaning system. So I've taken the top panel off the ice machine and the side panel to make it easier to install. And I've also installed my little connector here on the back of the machine for the high power voltage to go through. And then I have a high power voltage wire coming out of my AUX cleaning system. So we're going to run that through the machine and into the main power. So let's take a look at that. We'll feed these wires through the hole of my connector that I put in there. So we got a black L1, a white L2 or neutral and then a ground wire through, through there as well. And then we'll feed these cables through and into the main part of the machine. Inside the machine, I'm gonna run the high voltage cable through this lower grommet, going through with all the other high voltage cables rather than through with one of the low voltage cables so it doesn't interfere with them and into the electrical box area. Next, I'm going to make sure I have a good positive ground in there. So I'm going to take my ground screw and put it through the eyelet, and then I'm going to secure it to the chassis of the electrical box. Next, I'm going to secure the wires onto the contactor on the line side so they get high voltage power to the unit. I pulled this contactor out a little bit so you can see a little bit clearer on it. You don't have to pull it out, but I did it just so you could see a little bit better. Uh, but sometimes I find it's easier if I lose the base of the contactor off when I install these. So I'm going to connect the black one to the black side or the L1. And then I will connect the white one to the white side or L2 neutral on that side as well. Cables through and then we'll tighten up this connector on the unit and make sure we make a good connection on it. Now bear in mind, you need to follow your local codes. So some local codes may say that you have to run this in metal conduit or maybe plastic conduit. So check with your local codes where you're installing it. I'm just running the SJ cable through here 
on this machine. Next we're going to run the chemical clear tube and the communication wire through some half inch conduit. So we're going to take this half inch conduit, I got two elbows and a straight piece half inch electrical conduit um, that I'm going to run through it. We're going to come out the back of the aux cleaning system, got my communication wire here and my chemical tube and we're going to go into the back of the ice machine with these two tubes. So I'm going to take this communication cable and I'm going to feed it down the tube until it comes out the other end of this long radius elbow. And then I'll do the same with the chemical tube as well. Then we'll go into the back of the unit with the fitting that came with the kit. Right in there with the communication cable. Feeding it through into the unit. And we'll do the same with the chemical tube. Pulling it through on the other side. And then we kind of have this loose arrangement here because I haven't connected any of it together. So I'll connect that up. And we'll put a little bit of glue on the inside of these tubes as well to connect them. And we'll make the final connection up top. So right inside the unit, you can see my little Y connector in here next to my water valve inlet. There's my little Y connector. I poked the membrane out of the connector that goes through the chassis of the machine into the water trough. And I blocked up one side of that Y connector on the aux cleaning system. Because I don't need both sides on it. And then I'm going to connect the tube to it to feed the chemical into it. So you can see my connector is connected to the clear tube that the chemical is going to go through. I also am real careful about making sure this clear tube's not rubbing up against any hot refrigerant lines or anything like that or getting snagged. And I'll double check the wires as well to make sure they're not getting snagged or rubbing up against any refrigeration tubing or anything like that. I'll take the communication wire with this connector on it and I'll feed it through this top hole with the low voltage wirings that go through the machine so it's not flowing through the same hole as all the high voltage wiring on this system. And then I'll pull that through into the control box. Control box area itself, we have this four pin square connector down here on the board that's labeled AUCS. And we'll take the connector, the low voltage communication wire, and we'll plug it into that connector on the board. We're gonna access the inside of the automatic cleaning system by taking a screw off the top. And we'll also take a screw out of the bottom of it as also. We'll put this little tube in there, place it on the shelf, and then we'll screw to the top of the bottle down so it can pull chemical out of that fresh bottle on that unit. The last few steps are to put the panels back on the machine. Plug your machine pack into the outlet. And then you can go ahead and press the clean cycle and this will purge the chemical into the tube and prime it for the next cycle. Let it go ahead and run through its 30 minute clean cycle and then return it back to ice making and you're ready to go as far as the setup of that aux system is in there. The other thing you have to do is you have to tell the ice machine that the aux cleaning system has been installed. So you can do that in the setup, you press menu you go down to setup, you go down to the AUCS portion, press the check mark, and then make sure the check mark is in the AUCS on position. And then you can also set the interval on there. I have mine set to clean every two weeks or twice a month. So now the machine's set up for that AUX system, and we can go ahead and run the machine. Thanks for joining me today. I'm Jonathan at Mammoth Block Ice. Uh, thanks for going over the installation of our Hawks Clean system. If you feel uncomfortable about any of that stuff, this is supposed to be done by a Mammoth Block authorized service installer. So a professional should install this Hawks Clean system. And this video was intended for them. Uh, thanks for joining us. Hope to see you next time.